Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math video number 75. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 9, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet SI examples. We have five examples of simple interest calculation. Here's our first example. If you borrow 4,000 in an annual simple interest rate of 6.5% for nine month term, what is the maturity value and what is the maturity date? So here's our principal. 4,500, our annual simple interest rate, 6.5, and we're given the term in months. Here's the loan issue date, and we need to know that if we're going to calculate the maturity date. Here's our formula we've been using. First, we have to calculate time as a, in, in years, a fraction of the year. So equals 9 divided by 12. We're comparing the part to the whole, or the base, 0.75. Our interest calculation is principal times rate times time, and we are going to round. We are dealing with pennies here. Principal times rate times time as a fraction of a year, comma 2 because we're rounding to the penny. Oh, interest of 219.38. Now, maturity value, that's just on the day that the loan is due, you have to pay back the money you borrowed plus the interest equals this plus that. Principal plus interest. Now, loan maturity date. Here it is. This is the loan issue date. We need to go nine months into the future. Now, you can't, we, we have in this class done date math where we take a certain date and we can add days. But we're given months. So we can't simply um, add 9 times 30 because there are some months that have more or less than 30 days. No problem. There's a function exactly built for this E date. That's all it does is you give it a starting date, comma, and tell it how many months to go into the future. Now we're putting a positive number so it's going into the future. If we put a negative number here, it would go back into the past. But that's all it does. It's just going to look here and go nine months into the future. There it is, 821. All right, let's look at the same example here, example two, but slightly reduced. Because once we get to our interest calculation, you don't have to do an individual cell calculation for time. We can just do if principal times rate, and if we're given months, do months divided by 12. Round, because we're dealing with money here, and we're required to round. Principal times rate times, well, we don't have an input that's fraction a year, but we can do this right in the formula, 9 divided by 12. Now this will work fine because it's operating left to right, times, times, and then when it gets to here, it'll go times, and then divide, and it will give us exactly the correct answer. Comma 2 because we're rounding to the penny. And we get the same exact calculation as we did above. Maturity value equals this plus, so we have principal plus interest, and it doesn't matter which order you add it. And just to repeat, What's the name of the function we can use to calculate maturity date? Yes, I, d I heard someone say it. E date, that's right. You just give it a start. And there's the start. And the number of months you want to go in the future. All right, so our next example. If you borrow 18500 a simple annual simple interest rate of 7% for 10 months, what is the maturity value and maturity date? Principal rate time. We're giving it in months. So I'm going to calculate my interest calculation. Got around. We're dealing with uh, multiplying and dividing decimals. And we're required to round. Principal times rate times time. That's 10, but we have to divide by 12 to get fraction of a year, comma 2. OK, wow, that's a lot of interest, right? Well, you borrowed 18,500, right? In 10 months, you're going to pay back this and the interest. So the maturity value will be principal plus interest. The loan date, I love the E date function. Just take whatever serial number date you have and tell it how many months in the future. By the way, if you had five years, you would say, and this was years, you'd say, 5 times 12. So the e-date works. It, it always has to have months. But if you have years, just multiply those years times 12. All right, so we don't have years. We just have 10 months. So there it is, 714 
2012. All right, our fourth example. If you borrow $150,000 at an annual simple interest rate of 6.75 for 180 day term, what is the interest paid for both exact and banker's interest? Bankers or ordinary interest methods. All right, so there's our principal R rate. We're going to have two different fractions. So we'll do exact interest first. Fraction of a year equals 180. And I'm going to assume this one is 365. Now here's a note. Read your contract because, you know, bank checking accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, loans, they have all sorts of um, examples of where you'd be dividing and uh, something by the number of days in the year. 365 is the most common, right? Sometimes, like on my credit card, I see they'll divide it by 365.25 to account for leap year, right? Because leap year comes every four years. So one, two, three years get 365, and then there's one year with 366. So uh, you know, sometimes you'll see this. We're not going to do this. But you, you may see that out there. So whatever it is you use as your denominator here, right? Look at the contract. Here we're doing exact and interest, and we're going to assume our contract says 365. Let's just do it down here. And if we take this same number of days and divide it by 360 instead of 365, 360 is a smaller number. So if we take the same numerator, divide it by a smaller denominator, the result will be bigger than this, right? And it is. This one says fraction of a year, a half. All right, this is 0.49315. All right, now our interest calculation equals round principal times rate times time, fraction of a year for exact interest, comma 2. We're rounding to the penny. Down here equals round principal times rate times fraction of a year for ordinary banker's interest. Notice the time is bigger. So thus, the interest charged will be bigger, comma 2. So it's quite a bit more, 60, you know, almost 70 bucks. All right, now let's, the longer the time, the more the interest, <laughs> right? That's another way to think about that. All right, our last example in this video. If you borrow 18500 and an annual simple interest rate of 7% on 914, so that's the issue date, and pay back the loan on 1-12-2012, that's the due date. What is the maturity value and what is the term of the loan? Interest calculated using exact method. All right, so we have our principal our rate, and we know when it was issued and when it's due, but how are we going to calculate the interest? Well, no problem. If this is the maturity date, we can simply do date math, the later date minus the earlier date, and figure out the number of days. So maturity date minus loan issue date. Now this, because underneath a date is a serial number that represents the number of days since December 31st, 1899, where January 1st, 1900 is 1, January 2nd, 1900 is 2, etc. Because there's numbers under there, whole numbers, we can simply subtract them, and it will tell us the number of days. All right, now we can calculate our interest. Principal times rate times time, but we need to not use that 120, but take the days, divide by 365. We're using exact. How do you know? You look at the problem when you're doing the homework or the test or the quiz or you read your contract or you're working there at the bank or the business and you go to say to your boss, what do we use, 365 or 360 or something else? All right, so there you go. 425.75. All right, maturity value, I simply take my principal plus my interest. All right, that's a lot about simple interest. There were five examples of how to do simplest interest calculations, including 
calculating the number of days for the term, given a issue and maturity date. And we also saw how to use this new edate function when we're given um, months. And we can just say how many uh, uh, days in the future. By the way, we didn't do this example here, but what? let's do one more here. Let's just say the, I'm just going to copy this. Oops, copy. There's the loan issue date. And the term is given in days, so 45 days. What's the maturity date? We don't need the E date function here, because this is a serial number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there's numbers under there. And this is the number 45, so we say equals this plus that. The loan issue date plus the term given in days. And there is our maturity date. Now, what's wrong with that? Formatting. So I simply go up here and then date. I'm going to do short date. There it is, 10-29-2011. The magic of Excel date number format and date map. All right, that's a lot about um, simple interest calculations. That's the end of section 9.1, so you can go do your homework. See you next video.